Can you add the Rode Wireless Go 2 to your podcast setup? Hi, I'm Hank from FreePodcastTools.com. And this time I'm going to be talking about the Rode Wireless Go 2. Now, the Rode Wireless Go 2, spoiler alert, is an amazing kit. And I think it is a must-have for any remote content creator. But I'm trying to use it a little bit today in an application that it's probably not intended for, and that is in the podcast studio itself. So as you can see, I bought this attachment. This is not the Rode microphone attachment. That one was out of stock. So I bought an off-brand one and it, the head on it extends out. It's, it's really cool. And it fits into a regular handheld microphone stand adapter uh, that you can mount to a boom arm. Uh, you could put this out of frame a little bit stuff like that. I have all the processing turned off on the Roadcaster, but what I want to do today is obviously you can tell it sounds a lot thinner than a regular broadcast microphone. So now I'm on the Shure SM7B and you can hear the the tonal difference and stuff. But on the Roadcaster, I'm going to turn on a few effects and see if I can not necessarily get it up to the standard of a Shure SM7B obviously, but possibly get it to sound a little fuller, a little richer. So now I've turned on some processing, some compression. The gating could sound a little unnatural right now, and I apologize for that, but there's stuff going on around me. Uh, but I did want to turn on the Aphex Big Bottom. I didn't turn on the Oral Exciter, but the Aphex Big Bottom to try to add a little oomph to this wireless system. But I do apologize for the gating. I can hear the noise coming through as I speak, which is kind of annoying and frustrating. I'll turn it off in just a second, but I just wanted to turn on the effects and such just so you could hear if it is a little fuller sounding than it was before. It's not intended for this use, but I'm going to pull up on the screen here how I have this connected to the Rode Caster Pro. So as you can see here, I bought this VXLR Plus from Rode. Uh, I was able to purchase this device. I want to say it was around $25 to $30. And on one end, you have the TRS cable connected to the VXLR Plus. And then on the other end, the TRS cable is connected into the receiver. All right. So in the bundle, you get the two transmitters. You get the one receiver. You get these three little furry windshields. You get three USB-C to USB-A cables. And you get one TRS to TRS cable and a carrying pouch. It's like a neoprene or, or something to that effect. But you get a lot of stuff in here for $299. US I'm going to turn the effects off again on the Roadcaster Pro, the processing. Now you can hear it's going to let in a lot more room tone. You know, like I said, it's it's honestly not intended for what I'm using it for. But throughout this video, I kind of just wanted to give you a sense of what you could do with this device. So I could take this out and about. You can actually record right to the system in this. And so it's a, kind of astonishing that you can just have these devices and go. You don't have to take a Zoom recorder, which I have, and I hook, hook it up to in some cases. You can just be out on the go. I can take this handheld, and now I'm kind of like a reporter. I can sit here and, and say, you know, uh, back to the studios in New York. <laughs> or what have you. But I could take this out and this uh, off-brand one I bought extends out a bit and then you can hold it around like this. As you, I could go out and about and I could interview people. And guess what? I don't have to carry my Zoom H6 or anything like that. I don't have to walk around with any other, other device. I could just be going around saying, hey, what are your thoughts on such and such? And see what people say and just have fun with it. It doesn't come with this overall cover, but there's a uh, it's almost like a foam windscreen that you can put over the entirety of this. And then it becomes even more like a handheld microphone because then people can't see what this looks like and such. But I think the look is amazing. I will insert my distance test right now. 210 feet. I'm going to lose line of sight pretty soon here. 230 feet. I'm going to turn my back for just a moment. And then I will turn around, try to regain line of sight. 250 feet. I no longer have line of sight. 
265 feet, 270 feet. And if I go any further, I will be in the woods. So let's see what it did. Did I break up? I'll test it on the review. And that's as far as I could go outside at this time. Uh, they, I couldn't get to the football field or the track field yet. When I'm able to get to a, a longer stretch, I might revisit this. But this is a cool device, and especially if you have some guests that you have to go somewhere to interview, and they are people that move around, they're not going to stay in front of the mic well, and stuff like that. I think the Rode Wireless Go 2 is phenomenal. I think it's leaps and bounds better than the original concept. And as of today, September 7th, 2021, Rode has contacted me and said that there's beta software for Rode Connect, which is the for lack of a better expression, the Rodecaster Pro of software that they create for their USB Rode NT mini microphone. And you can now use this with it. So they're thinking of this application, if you ask me, it seems like they are. Or maybe they're just saying maybe this is a, a compact way to take your laptop or something and have a mixer like functionality on there. I love it. I think Rode is dominating the podcast market. I think they do a fantastic job. I appreciate everything they're doing in the space. I've been very hard on road. You can, uh, on a different channel, you can see my Roadcaster Pro review is one of my most disliked videos ever. It is my most disliked video ever, but it was legitimate. I had legitimate concerns with it and they even responded on the video and they responded to me and they fixed the issues I had with it, except for one is a physical uh, fix that they cannot do unless they re-release the entire product. So I won't be looking for that anytime soon. The Rode Wireless Go 2 can be used in many different applications. Obviously, it's not going to be the full sound you're going to get from a studio broadcast a dynamic microphone. You know, it's passable sound. Obviously, you could just wear the Rode Wireless Go 2 and just have it on, have this little bulky thing on, or you can get the lavalier, plug it into the port and have just the lav coming up on your collar with just the tab sticking out. I, I don't mind it. Like when I put it on people, I just leave it in its form at, I don't really care. I'm not a huge, um, everything's gotta be out of frame type of person. Um, I am gonna get some shotgun mics and, and try that for certain types of videos and such, but for going live and stuff like that. I am um, have the microphone in my shot kind of an individual. I don't care. I don't worry about what people think about it or say about it. I think it's just fine to use it like this. But I just wanted to kind of give you some different uh, ideas on applications for the Rode Wireless Go. Uh, this is a phenomenal addition to the kit. I have dynamic microphones, condenser microphones, and I want to add shotgun microphones to the collection. And when I do that, I will come back and do videos about trying to integrate that into my live streams or my podcasts. But those are my thoughts on the Rode Wireless Go 2. So happy with this setup. I greatly appreciate it. Thank you so much for checking it out. If you're looking to get into streaming, I'm going to have some videos on live streaming very soon. So check those out. Thank you.